Hi and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Jennifer and we talk about subjects regarding makeup and agoraphobia. And if you are into that, well, I hope you stick around because we are talking about the Natasha Denona Coral Palette. It is on sale for retail for $48. I got mine in a boxy charm. Well, not in a BoxyCharm, but I bought it on sale at BoxyCharm. And um, I just thought I would get my first impressions on it. And if you are into that, then stick around because we are getting right into it. Okay, so you have this five pan palette. It's $48. You've got two shimmers, two mattes, and what I can only describe as a glitter topper. Um, it has glitter in it. Um, I'm not very fond of that. And as you can see in my eye look, I tried to use it on the tops of my eyelids. I don't know if you can see it shift or not. But I did make an eye look, and we'll get into that later, with all five of these shades. And, um, oh, swatches right here. It swatches beautifully, of course. It's Natasha Denona. And even this glitter topper shade swatches really nicely. So, what are my first impressions of this palette? Well, I talk about some at the end of the video. The mattes are great. I love the mattes. And the shimmers, although a little chunky, They performed as well as you can expect them to perform. I am not a Natasha Denona stan. The only Natasha Denona products I have are from BoxyCharm, what BoxyCharm has sent me. And um, from what I understand, I might be getting another Natasha Nona palette in this month's box feature. But that's not a given. I might not get one. And I don't really care if I do. I don't really care if I don't. Like I said, I am not a big Natasha Nona stan. I think her products are kind of overhyped. For what they are from the products that I have tried. I have this five pan palette and I have the peak five pan palette. I am not super impressed with this. I don't say run out and get it unless you are a Natasha Denona completionist. Um, I just thought it was all right. It was okay. And maybe that's just because... Maybe that's my anti-Natasha Zanona speaking. I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to be biased here. And I'm just not that impressed with it. I mean, it's just okay. I'll keep wearing it. Excuse me. The, sh the mattes and the shimmers did just fine. There was some kick up and there was a little fallout to, to worry about. But otherwise, it did just fine. And, except for that glitter topper, 
maybe that's maybe that's what's keeping me from liking it is the glitter shade i don't know is it a glitter shade or is it not a glitter shade i don't know all i know is when i swatched it before and i tried to take it off there was glitter left all over my arm but i wasn't using a makeup wipe to wipe it off i was just using water and a paper towel and I couldn't get the color off. So that could have just been user error on my part. So I won't keep y'all in suspense any longer. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts in the makeup portion. So all right, let's get to the makeup portion of this, and like I said, I will give you my final thoughts there. Hi, okay. and welcome to the makeup Thank portion you for watching. of this video. Here I have the Natasha Denona palette, and um, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to put this on my crease and my upper lid and darken it up with that and probably put maybe one or both of these on the lid and then top it off with this I don't know if that's the glitter, glitter topper or not I don't know if we decided that in the beginning of the program or not but um yeah, let's just go with that. So. Natasha Denona kind of intimidates me. I always felt like Natasha Denona was for a certain kind of person. I don't have any of her big or smaller palettes. Her $65 palettes. Or her many, many palettes. All I have is what was available through BoxyCharm. So, I'm not really on the Natasha Denona train, so to say. I always figured she was for that type of girl. You know, the put together type of girl, the girl who knows where she's going, what she's doing. Where she's had a young life. Got all her shit together. I know that's unrealistic to think. Because nobody has their shit together. But definitely not somebody like me. Now, I'm not saying I'm not like the other girls. But none of her palettes have really spoken to me. ever feel that way? The high-end browns just don't speak to you. I 
to get that out. So I'll just stick to BoxyCharm palette. This is a pretty palette. I wouldn't say it's blowing off my feet or anything like that. Let's try these shimmers. I got a little fallout over there. So far, I guess we'll have to see about this glitter shadow. Okay, now I'm about to go in with the glitter powder. Or the glitter. Let's see my eyes right now. I've got both the shimmers on. I'm going to be using all the colors. Wow, buy it. I can kind of see the shift there. Maybe y'all can see it when I'm closer up. But I'll give you my final thoughts after I finish my eyes. So, 
let me just finish up my eyes and then we'll be back for final thoughts. Okay, and we're back. And this is the eye look that I came up with. You can see here. You might can see the glimmer topper shade of my eye as well as the two shimmers. If not, and then I'm sorry, my camera is just not that good at picking up colors. But, um, yeah, overall, I've got two Natasha Denona palettes, and this probably comes in second place, I would say, to the Peak palette. This one is, though, available on Sephora at Sephora and Sephora.com. It is the Cora palette. And on first impressions, do I recommend it? I don't know. I'd have to play around with it some more. I um I like that pink pal that pink palette so much on first impressions that um I couldn't imagine that I wouldn't like a Natasha Denona palette. But these colors, they just don't speak to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just grumpy today or something. But, um, I'm not a big fan of this right here. And... I wish it was another color, another matte shade, and that's all I'm going to say about that. And so, that's my thoughts on the Coral Palette. Um, it's $48. Like I said, you can get it at Sephora. I'll, link a, I'll put a link down below to Sephora where you can get it at. And, um, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my material, then go ahead and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And, um, yeah, I, check me out on my socials down below and Twitter and Instagram. They are hyperlinked at Into My Garden Tea. And I hope you are having a great week today and that it continues on through the week and into the weekend. If you are not having a great day today, I hope it turns around for you. And I hope at least you have a better day tomorrow. And all I can hope for y'all is that y'all stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. And that I will bid you adieu. And I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, goodbye.